Now, first look, uh, possibly of Eamon Dorsey's swing. Now, this is his very own swing. This is a little bit different than you might see the purists tell you how to play golf. Unlike anyone else's. But it must work because he's here and there's a lot of <clears throat> Europeans at home. Just observe at home, please. The right elbow. Uh -huh. Ooh. That is some right elbow. A lot of motion in, in that. the other day in one of his matches. Yesterday in his match. Not this time. Made up for that. Back to Crenshaw, putting with, appears to be like, ooh, and a little upset with himself. The word we have from the golf course is that Ben sort of banged his putter on the ground after missing a putt on the six, and it broke. They'll do that every once in a while. Of course, little Ben's seen a lot of air time, too. And <laughs> little Ben said, being the putter. Yes. And Eamon Darcy at 12, a moment ago, putting for a par in slow motion, of course, and he missed it. So Ben won that hole. Crenshaw then on the 13th fairway, he's just two down now, putting with looks like what, what looks like a sand wedge. It, it would be a sand wedge. Yeah. This is going to turn out just fast. Uh -huh. Look how fast this is. Stay with us. It looks like this could be an interesting Eamon Darcy leading Ben Crenshaw by two. 13th hole, 442 yard par four, remember? In the Republic of Ireland. Era. Flying elbow again. But as Peter pointed out, it gets right back in there through the ball. And get is a half a point. Well, that ball rolling down there was Eamon Darcy's putt for a three at the 13th. Back to Crenshaw. Oh, now he's Che. He has been putting with a a sand iron and Crenshaw doesn't matter what he uses was I think a one or a two iron. Crenshaw wins the hole. Darcy's pulled it away up into the gallery. I don't think he's got any chance of getting down in two. Oh, a lovely shot from Crenshaw. Crenshaw should square the match here. As we look at the two captains Tony Jacklin and Jack Nicholas. All right, we're back at 14. Eamon Darcy, you remember, hit it into the crowd. Ed Sneed is there. What happened? Well, Jack, there was some discussion as to whether or not uh, someone threw it out of the gallery for Eamon to come back down the hill. He, he actually pulled the ball 30 or 40 yards to the left of the pin up on the hill. But the observer said that the ball never came to rest. And it, it came down to the, to the cart path and just the other side of the cart path. And so the, the official on the scene declared the ball in play there. That's Bill Clark of the PGA. So here's the shot he hit from there. So he's three there. <laughs> Five for Darcy. Come on, and over the last two or three holes, Eamon's uh, nerve ends have got a bit raw. This is for a win at 14 for Crenshaw on his third straight win. Oh! And it went in with the one iron, and he has won the last three holes to bring this match to even. And moving up to the par five, 15. Yeah, big strain on Darcy. On the 16th hole, reasonably long par three. Pins just over that left-hand bunker there, Jim. The tough position here at, at 16. Crenshaw's already hit. Hey, 
I'll show you that in a minute. You can hear him say fade, so it obviously a little left. But you can see where Crenshaw's ball is. Now, now we'll show you how it got there. I think in match play at this point, it's so important to have the honor if you can hit a good shot. Which Ben had. Remember, this is on tape. Be right. Be the stick. This was it. What a shot. Almost hit the hole. Beautiful. If That's what you need this thing? match. What a story this would be for the Ryder Cup record books. Three down, putting with a sand wedge or a one iron to come back at Eamon Darcy for his three at 16. And you can see the way he raised up. He knew he didn't have it. He might concede this hole to Ben Crenshaw. Let's see. No, I would make you putt. Ben doesn't have a putter. Well, that's right. Uh, <laughs> he's we'll, doing pretty well with we'll look what at he's it got. one time. Ben Crenshaw for a two. He only needs a three. Yeah, maybe a new putter coming from his company there after this week. Well, huh? He even gets hot when he misses it with a with an iron of <laughs> some kind. Right. Now wait a minute, Ben. Don't break the sandwich. He was conceded, and he goes one up in that match for the first time today. Ben was three down. Which is crucial too. Crenshaw mm. now one up on Eamon Darcy, and just two holes left to play. Darcy at one time, three up. Eamon's got a perfect angle to the pin, but he's a long way back. He's got about 180 yards, 185 downwind. Hit a great shot. Oh, beautiful shot, Ed. Wow, getting better all the time. If Eamon had not gotten so close, I think Ben probably would have played well to the center of the green. But I, I guess he's going to be going right at it here. He has new, no view of the flag, though, Ed, from where he is. Huh? He's blocked a little bit by the trees, but he can. He might be able to see partially uh, the flag. He's pulled it on the left side oh. of the green, and it bounced into the back bunker. And stayed out of the grass between oh, the bunkers that's there. That's a horrid place. Terrible, terrible. Another yard on that. It, it could have been the shot of the series. That's what he was trying to do. And he had that laid, laid way back, hoping to just throw it up onto the edge of the green. But now he's in the bunker. Crenshaw's fourth. Great shot. Great. Well, you wouldn't have thought it possible to stop that short of the hole. Great shot, but uh, I think it's a, a concession. Yes. Let's have a report at 18. Crenshaw drove in the water and has dropped out, playing his third shot. Drove in the water at almost the exact place that Larry Mize did. And Darcy's where? Darcy's right down the middle of the fairway. So that's third shot for Crenshaw into the bunker. Crenshaw's played three in the bunker. And a half would do the European cause no no great harm. He gone too far left, I fancy, unless it's big enough to get out. No, he's followed him. He's in the same bunker as Crenshaw. But there in one less shot. There in one less shot, which could be very crucial indeed. And Darcy's had the opportunity of looking. And now what's going to happen here? This is Darcy's third shot. Usually a very sound bunker player. Mm. Uh, that's pretty good. This for bogey. Even in his match with Darcy coming in here. Yes. Bogey five. Wonder what thoughts are going through Tony's mind. Mm. Don't hit it too hard. Just roll it. Yes, on. that's a crucial point. Wow. A crucial point, and sadness for Crenshaw, who played most of the round without his putter. He, he leant on it or banged it, and it broke. And Darcy, who uh, was three up at one time and then got a, a fit of the jitters, well, in the end, was helped by Crenshaw driving in the rough. But that is a tremendous point scored by Darcy. He's played in four. Ryder Cups, 
And he'd only halved a couple of matches in four ball competition. This is the first single point he's won, and what a time to do it. And that gets him ever so close now to a complete victory.